Thanks, Senator Leahy. Senator Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The hearings that Democrats decide to hold demonstrate their priorities, what they care about. We have a crisis raging on our southern border right now because of Joe Biden's lawless and open border policies. The head of the Biden Department of Homeland Security is informing its staff to prepare for up to 400,000 illegal immigrants crossing this month. And yet the Senate Judiciary Committee has not had a single hearing on the crisis on our southern border. Over 2 million illegal immigrants streaming into America, Democrats don't care. Hundreds of thousands of kids in cages, Democrats don't care. Every Democrat on this committee went on TV on and on about kids in cages, kids in cages. You now know what they were saying they didn't believe, because if they believed it, there are more kids in more cages that are more full now than there ever were, and not a Democrat on this committee cares. Hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants with COVID. Democrats don't care. Children by the thousands being physically and sexually abused by human traffickers. Democrats don't care. Drugs streaming across our border. Democrats don't care. Young women being trapped in sexual slavery by human traffickers. Democrats don't care. Well, what do they care about? Well, this illustrates what they care about. Democrats have one priority, and that is power, staying in power. That's why Democrats have had four hearings on amnesty. They look at two million illegal immigrants, and they think, ooh, future Democratic voters, let's give them all amnesty. Never mind the abuses that happen. This is about power for our Democratic friends. But you know what? They, there's something they've had more hearings on than amnesty, and that is the federal takeover of, of election law, and the democratic power grab. There is nothing that is a higher priority for Democrats than staying in power. The Corrupt Politicians Act was so brazenly political, it was such a naked power grab, that Democrats have abandoned it where they realized they couldn't defend it with a straight face. So this is their fallback pro provision. Senator Leahy mentioned his version of the bill in the Senate, that was filed at 1245 last night is when committee members were notified of it. And there are a lot of terrible provisions in the bill, but let me just cover two briefly. Department of Justice preclearance for everyone Democrats don't like, and Department of Justice preclearance for everything Democrats don't like. Here's, here's how it would work. Every state and local government across the country would have to submit certain voting changes. What voting changes? Well, anything like imposing voter ID on elections or preventing ballot harvesting to Kristen Clark and Vanita Gupta, two partisan activists who haven't been shy about their hatred of voter integrity laws before those changes can go into effect. All right, spoiler alert. If it is a law protecting the integrity of the election, if it's a voter ID law, if it's prohibiting balloted harvesting, the partisan activists at the Department of Justice are going to object because they've been explicit they oppose all those laws. Similarly, any state and local government that the Democrats don't like, they have to submit every voting change to the same part partisan activists. Let me give you an example of how crazy this is just by analogy. Can you imagine if Republicans proposed a law that said that states like California and New York and Illinois have to submit every law or policy affecting religious liberty or affecting firearms to a brand new division of the Department of Justice staffed almost entirely by activists who've been fighting in favor of religious liberty and in favor of the Second Amendment their entire time? And if these activists objected to the California or New York law, then the states couldn't implement them. That would be absurd. That's what the Democrats have done. And ironically, the Democrats claim they're protecting the right to vote. This bill is an assault on the right to vote. Why? Number one, ballot integrity acts like voter ID acts prevent voter fraud. Sadly, Democrats have looked at the bipartisan Carter Baker provision shared by former Democratic President Jimmy Carter, and just about every recommendation on how to prevent voter fraud, 
they've turned on its head and said, we want more fraud because fraud benefits Democrats. But secondly, the laws that they want unelected bureaucrats to strike down are laws adopted by democratically elected legislatures in the states. You don't get to claim, as Senate Democrats do, that you favor democracy when you propose measures to stop democracy. Democracy means the voters decide. This bill is an assault on democracy because it says we don't care that 29 million people in the state of Texas decide we want voter ID in accordance with the views of 80% of Americans. We don't care. One unelected bureaucrat at the Department of Justice who happens to be a radical left-wing Democratic activist has the power to say to hell with democracy, we're striking down laws passed by democratically elected legislatures. This is a power grab, it's cynical, and it's wrong.